top 10 destinations in Dominica. Known as the nature island of the Caribbean, Dominica remains an unspoiled paradise for divers, hikers, and naturalists. It is the largest of the Windward Islands and features dramatic volcanic landscapes with lush rainforests, waterfalls, lakes, gorges, rivers, steamy hot springs, and the highest mountains in the Eastern Caribbean. 1. Montua Pitons National Park Montua Pitons National Park is the jewel of Dominica. Encompassing much of the island's mountainous interior, the park is primordial rainforest from thick jungle, with giant ferns and wild orchids, to the stunted cloud forest on the upper slopes of 1,424-meter Montua Pitons. And the park has another surprise, the steaming valley of desolation is an area of boiling mud ponds, brightly colored hot springs, and mini geysers. 2. Boiling Lake Boiling Lake is one of the most popular attractions in Montua Pitons National Park. This eerie-looking pool of bubbling, grey-green water lies at the end of a strenuous, three-hour hike through thick forest. Geologists believe the 63-meter-wide actively boiling lake, the world's second-largest, is a flooded fumarole, a crack in the earth allowing hot gases to vent from the molten lava below. The temperature at the edge of the lake ranges from 82 to 92 degrees Celsius and is at boiling point in the center. 3. Victoria Falls One of the most impressive and photogenic waterfalls on the island, Victoria Falls, in Montua Pitons National Park, is formed by the White River cascading over a cliff into a warm pool below. Minerals give the water a milky white color. Wear water shoes with good grip as the approximately 40-minute hike involves river crossings and boulder scrambling, but these beautiful falls and the river itself are worth seeing. You can relax at the end with a dip in the warm pool. 4. Trafalgar Falls The hike to Trafalgar Falls is one of the most popular things to do in Dominica. Known as mother and father, these twin falls lie at the end of an easy 10 to 15 minute hike through a forest of ginger plants and vanilla orchids. The cool mainstream of Trafalgar Falls originates in the mountains and is joined near the bottom by a hot mineral spring. You can take a dip in the hot and cold pools amid the sulfur-dyed rocks at the base of the falls. 5. Dominica's Beaches Most visitors choose a vacation in Dominica for hiking and nature, but you can still find some pretty slices of coast on this lush Caribbean island. Dominica beaches are mostly volcanic black sand beauties, although the sand can actually look grey, depending on the light. Mero Beach is one of the most popular stretches of coast. About a 25-minute drive from the capital, Roseau, it's a favorite place to visit for the cruise ship crowd. You can rent sun loungers and umbrellas and purchase snacks and drinks from funky bamboo shacks along the shoreline. 6. Cabarets National Park In Northwest Dominica, Cabarets National Park preserves lush rainforest, swampland, black sand beaches, and thriving coral reefs. The scenic peninsula reveals panoramic views from its highest point, and the reefs offer some excellent snorkeling and diving opportunities. The park is also home to one of the most interesting historical sites in Dominica. Here, you can visit the remains of Fort Shirley, an 18th-century British garrison with beautiful views of Prince Rupert Bay. Hiking trails take you through some of the jungly terrain, past the ruins of the garrison, and to viewpoints with sweeping vistas of the town of Portsmouth, the lush mountains, and the blue sea beyond. 7. Roseau Framed by lush peaks, Dominica's capital of Roseau, pronounced Rosero, is a colorful jumble of West Indian cottages and busy market stalls, with a cool vibe. Unlike other Caribbean capitals, you won't find any glitzy shops or chain stores here, just locally owned stores and a friendly, local vibe. Roseau's waterfront features a seaside promenade and cruise ship dock, which is crowded with visitors during the busy winter season. 8. Papillot Tropical Gardens Pretty Papillot Tropical Gardens are a haven for artists, 
botanists, and photographers. Paths wind among bamboo trees, ginger blossoms, indigenous orchids, bromeliads, and begonias. Parts of the property offer beautiful views of the mountains and valley, and you can enjoy a soak in the retreat's mineral-rich pool, fed by a nearby hot spring. 9. Champagne Reef Dominica's most famous dive and snorkel site, Champagne Reef lies in a marine reserve off the country's southwest coast. Geothermal activity causes thousands of bubbles to emerge from beneath the rocks, a few feet from shore. Batfish Seahorses, barracuda, rays, squid, and trumpetfish are just some of the species found in the warm waters here. You can swim to the site from the rocky, black sand Champagne Beach. But it's best to try and time your visit around the cruise ship groups for a more tranquil experience. 10. Kalinago Territory Dominica has the largest remaining tribe of Kalinago people, Carib Indians, in the Caribbean. If you want to learn a little about their fascinating culture, you can visit Kalinago Barana Aute, a model village, on the northeast coast, about 20 miles from Rozo. Nestled amid banana and breadfruit trees, the village is a cluster of traditional wooden buildings. You can wander around the village and watch the Carib Indians carving dugout canoes, weaving baskets and mats, and sharing their knowledge of medicinal plants. The Caribs survive through fishing and agriculture, as well as the crafts they sell to visitors. The village is a little off the beaten track, but it adds interesting cultural insight to this fascinating country and is one of the more unusual things to do in Dominica.